presenting on Mott and Bailey Castle. What is a Mott and Bailey Castle? This was the first type of castle made by the Normans from France after they invaded England in 1066. After the Normans defeated the English in the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror wanted to make sure they kept control of the country, so he built many castles in important areas. Quick and effective castle. Mott and Bailey castles were designed to be built quickly. Some Mott and Bailey castles took only a few weeks to build. It is believed that as many as 1,000 Mott and Bailey castles were built. They were always considered to be temporary castles. There are two sections to a Mott and Bailey castle. Mott is a French word for a mound or clod of earth. The Mott is the part of the castle which is raised up on a hill. Mods range from 8 meters to over 24 meters in height. The Bailey. Bailey is a French word for enclosure or courtyard. It is the lower level of the castle that might cover one to three acres in land. It contains barracks, stables, livestock, and other buildings for storage. Building a Mott and Bailey Castle. The first step was to find a hilltop high ground or good defensive location. The location would also be near a river. The local English people of the area would be ordered to dig a circular ditch. You can see that they're digging the ditch over there. You can see over there's the mott up there, and here's the baby. Step two. Once the ditch was dug, the earth would be used to create a huge mound. This is the mott. They used the dirt from the bailey when they dig, digged it out, and they put it on to make the artificial mound, which is called the moth. On top of the moth, they built a wooden castle called the keep. Surrounding the keep was a fence called a palisade. You can see right there is the palisade going all around the keep. It is the fence protecting it, and there's the keep. Step four, bailey. Below the mott was the bailey. This is where the soldiers, serfs, and animals lived. The bailey was also surrounded by a wooden palisade. The drawbridge would be used to enter the bailey. There's the gateway, that little tower-like thing there. And the drawbridge is right here. It lifts up into the gateway. Here's the bailey, this area all here. The palisade is the fence all up here. The outside of the bailey was surrounded by a ditch, which was often filled with water known as a moat. Sometimes it wasn't practical to have a moat. Instead, the ditch was filled with spikes or other obstacles. When the castles were completed, many were covered in a white plaster to make them look as if they were made of stone. There's the bailey, and there's the ditch which was dug to make and then it's attached to a river sometimes, and it is the moat. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Advantages of a Mott and Bailey castle. The castles were made of wood and inexpensive material that was easy to find. Since they were using wood, the castles were easy to build. The castles were also easy to repair because they were made out of wood. They were also large enough to house soldiers. The height of the mott made it easy for the Normans to keep watch. Archers can hit the keep with their arrows because their, their range was 50 feet and the keep was 90 to 120 feet away. The mott was so steep that a horse or person could not climb up it. Disadvantages of the castle. Wood was weak materials and would need to be replaced every 10 years. Wood was easy to burn, especially if being attacked. The moth could collapse from the weight of the keep. A castle could be surrounded and all the food and water supply cut off. That is called siege. This is a picture of the Bayou Tapestry showing a moth and Bailey castle under attack. Life in a moth in Bailey Castle.
The lord of the castle and his family would live in the keep, the most protected part of the castle. The tower usually had two or three stories. The ground floor had a kitchen, first floor had a great hall, and top floor housed the lord's apartments. Sometimes it even had a dungeon. The soldiers. The soldiers were well paid and lived in the Bailey part of the castle. Their main job was to control the surrounding area. They were second in the feudal system. The serfs. These workers were to make sure that the lord and the soldiers were comfortable. They were at the bottom of the feudal system. There were blacksmiths, cooks, stable hands, and storekeepers. Attack and defense. The Mountain Bailey Castle provided a base where soldiers, food, weapons, and horses could be housed. It was also used to scare the local people so they would not rise up against the Normans. The castles were close enough so the Normans could send signals to each other. They would pour burning oil or hot water down the mott when being attacked. They would also push stones and logs down the mott. Weaknesses under attack. Fire is the biggest weakness of a mott and Bailey castle. The people living in the castle would try to put out the fire or else would run out to be captured or killed by the attacking enemy. Siege. This is when an enemy surrounds a mountain Bailey castle. The people inside the castle would eventually die of thirst and hunger and have to run out to be captured or killed. Famous mountain Bailey castles. Clifford's Tower is the remaining keep of York Castle. The castle was originally built of wood around 1068 by William the Conqueror. It was burnt into the ground in 1190, and then it was built in stone. You can see the mott right there. Mott Seston Castle, England, 11th century. Can you see the mott? Yeah. Right there's the mott going down, and on top is the key. That's cool. It was originally built in wood. They made it stone. The Totnes Castle, England, 11th century. You can see that's where the keep would be, and you can see the palisade going all the way around. You can see the mott and the bailey there. You can see how the river connects to it, too. Old Sarn Castle, Wiltshire, England, was the largest mott and bailey castle. You can see the mott there and where the how big the keep would have been in the palisade in Bailey. You can see that whole area going down. Enter it to the top. Okay. Can you tap it? Mm -hmm. The modern Bailey Castle helped the Normans control England for 300 years. The end. Well done. Um, is there any questions or comments yeah. about this part of the presentation? Any questions about um, castles? Specifically the modern museum. Um, I think it was good mm -hmm. because you really organized it well mm -hmm. and you dressed up to show us and then you would you wouldn't just read off, you would sometimes add something of your own. Any other questions or comments? Um, on the page before that, you know what? How big would the um, Bailey have been? Pretty big. Like, it's probably the biggest, it's the biggest castle. You can see all the area it would have taken up. All of that? More than three to do here. Eight to do something like before. <laughs> well, Aiden, I think that you're very confident. Um, you definitely knew your material because you were able to teach us, not just read from your PowerPoint presentation. You used three really, really, really good teaching methods. Anybody know what they are? Three really, really good teaching methods. Um, Jacob, what's one? Visual. Pardon? Visual. Visual. You used lots of good pictures. What, what do you think the strength was of using pictures of castles that are still standing today? 
What does that show us? Why was that a very good idea? Anybody have a, an opinion about that? Cool, what do you think? Because they, um, it shows that they were actually real and they had a, they had a good point of what they would have like back then. Good. Sometimes it's hard for us to conceptualize that this kind of stuff actually happened. It was so long ago that we have no real solid evidence. When we see real pictures of things that are still standing today, we get to understand that the medieval times really did happen. It was a real time, and that's why we study it. Um, what else did I say about your stuff? I thought that you did a really good job of expanding on what we talked about in class. So you actually were an expert in this topic. So that's really good. Um, good job. <laughs> you want to show us your Martin Pino?